What obligations do landlords have to their tenants? Well, they have quite a few. They have statutory and mm -hmm. they have contractual obligations. Mm -hmm. Should we just look at the statutory? Yeah. There? There's That's over 160 right. acts that landlords and agents must comply with. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if that's the same. Oh, you move, <laughs> you mm. move that. I'm still reading it. I don't know if that's the same with um, other industries. Um, no, I don't. It's insane. It's, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, so should we just go through a few? Yeah, that's, that's that. So don't even market a uh, property without an EPC. Don't think about that. Ensure smoke and carbon monoxide alarms are fitted and make sure the property is fit for human habitation. At the start and throughout, isn't it? Yes, yeah. And ensure the furniture and fittings, the gas and the electric all safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, you've got to carry out the right to rent checks, yes. um, which we spoke about before, um, and provide your name and address to the tenant mm -hmm. uh, as well. The landlord's name and address. Yes, the landlord's name and address. Mm -hmm. Tenants can only be charged a handful of permitted fees. Again, yeah, we've, yeah. Done a, we've done a post on that as well. Yes, we have, yeah. And the deposits must be in an approved scheme, an yes. approved government scheme. Yeah, there's three of those. It has to be in that. Um, you've got to maintain and repair the property. No. You can't harass a tenant. You can't unlawfully evict a tenant. You need the tenant's permission to enter the property. Mm. Yeah. You must give them the required notice to enter. Yes. Typically 24 hours. In writing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yes, yeah, in writing. Is that all? No. No, not by a long way. Uh, but those are the most important ones. And don't forget what's right around the corner. The rent is reform bill. Can't wait. Mm -hmm.